R&D Report, file number 026643. The anti-gnosis battle android, Cosmos, while undergoing startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a gnosis attack on the fleet. She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed and has been fully operational ever since. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program and further improvements will be required. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into Second Milsha in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's second R&D division. Furthermore, while en route to Milsha, we took the 100 series observational Realian prototype Momo into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization and an individual called Albedo. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto Merkaba. Cosmos' actions allowed us to overcome these crises. I believe this series of actions by Cosmos has been greatly influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author, Shian Kuzuki, Chief Engineer, Cosmos Development Project General Operations, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. Ah, it's so good to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. For a while there, I was kind of worried. But somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the chief pulls always keeps me on edge. What are you saying? You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh... Hey, Cosmos! Thank goodness you were there. Man, you really saved us. Thank you very much. I am happy to be of service. Hey, we're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xion? Hmm. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that all right with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be here for a little while, right? Hey, maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place, Momo. We currently have a three-year-old boy wearing a blue cap and a sky. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Alright then. Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Goodbye. What the? Hey, Chief! Wait up! <laughs> I suppose we should get going, too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Misrahi has also arrived at Milsha as well, if you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Got it. I'll pass it along. All right. Continue your assignment until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Dr. Mizra... Yes, Jan Sauer. Is there something else? I am currently Ziggurat 8. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I 
too welcome your arrival. Announcing change in the arrival time of flight. The flight will now arrive five minutes later than the scheduled time. We apologize for the inconvenience. You know, it almost sounds like she's scared to meet her. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. Say, old man, how about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no need to play around with extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. <sighs> All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. <laughs>